My name's Amanda and I've got D'Artagnan and he's eight years old, he has Down syndrome and he's involved in Shark and Snippers which he's been doing for three years. So the beach is huge in our lives. We live 300 metres from the beach, basically our backyard. <laughs> okay, Daddy, let's get ready for Sharky. Ready? Oh, beautiful. So my other children have grown up doing nippers and I feel that the Sharky Nippers offers a really good opportunity just to go at his level and at his pace while still giving him all the beach skills he needs. Good morning Sharkies, can I have all your beautiful eyes looking at me, Josh? My name's Kate Broadhurst. I started the Shark Snipper program at Avoca um, four years ago now. Good job. Keep going. Jump over. So the Sharks program is an inclusive nipper program. Go Daddy. We offer, um, I guess, additional support for kids that um, need it for a wide variety of reasons. I guess I had a, a, a passion to do this kind of thing. Um, our eldest son has a disability. He's legally blind. So one of the unique things about our program is that we actually have a one-to-one -one ratio of um, nippers to volunteers. Some of the kids need support with the physical aspects of doing an activity and some of the kids just need a little bit of extra support with confidence because they have anxiety or they, they're just not quite sure what they're doing. When we were looking at what activities we do with the program, we um, actually consulted a few local occupational therapists. We just wanted to make sure that the kids in our program were having um, their various needs met. So we designed activities um, like we do lots of shark digs and lots of crawling in the sand. We've got a lot of kids in the program that have sensory needs and desensitising them to the sand has been a big thing for us. So we've seen a lot of progression with that. Go! In our first year we couldn't get a lot of kids lying on the sand. They'd be lying on towels or standing up and it's made a big difference for their families who can now go to the beach on weekends and, and you know get in the water and get on the sand with their siblings. Good girl, go play. All of us in the family has done nippers at some point and it's a bit unfair to leave him out and it's yeah. a great way to help him do it. And because he enjoys it just as much as like we all do, yeah. So it's good for him to be able to do it, get involved with the family, makes him feel included. Hey, hey. give us your best swim, Daddy. Water safety is a big thing for us, so I'd say a large proportion of the kids in our program are somewhere on the autism spectrum and as I was researching and finding things out about the program I actually found out that drowning is the leading cause of death for kids um, with autism because they abscond and they tend to wander. We do a lot of talking about where the safe places to swim are on the beach, um, what colour the lifeguards wear, who, who to get help from at the beach and basically just ways to be safe around the water. My name's Catherine, um, I'm Tom's auntie. Tom has autism, uh, so social settings are quite hard for him in the first instance. This was a child that when we first started the program in the water, Tom was like, I'm dying, I'm dying. And it was just a sense of the sand under his feet and his sensory needs. He was just, he struggled. However, through Sharkies, we've evolved into um, quite a confident little boy in the surf. His water safety awareness has grown immensely. And yeah, he's just, he's come forward so fast. I've been coming for Sharkies for four years. I've been here since I was little. It's amazing and I really like it. Go Sharkies! Woo! So there's programs like ours all around Australia. Some of them have been running successfully for a really long time. When I was looking to start one up on the Central Coast, I did a bit of Googling and I found some fantastic programs running down in the southern states and a couple in Queensland that are huge. So anyone that wanted to be involved in the program, I guess the, the easiest place to start is to ring your local club and see if they offer an inclusive program. Okay, so well done, Ash. So proud of all the kids. Every time we think that we've made such big gains, they just keep smashing the ceiling again. So, you know, every week we get to celebrate, you know, small victories and it's just, it's incredible to watch. Yay! This is an amazing community. I couldn't, I honestly couldn't have asked for a better place to be. I love you too. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.